Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, a cross watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, and even if you don't, please, only claim this reading in a helpful, positive manner for yourself, or leave it where it is. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Aquarius, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Aquarius. Aquarius, energy is fluid. I can be speaking about you with somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Aquarius. Whoa, Aquarius. You have a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For somebody who is going to be very diligent, routine-oriented, hardworking, and committed in a situation. Somebody could be building some kind of financial foundation or future for themselves. Somebody might be getting a new job here. Show me. All right. You have the Page of Cups. So you're going to be getting some kind of good news or a message. It could be about some kind of new opportunity. This could be in your finances, but you could be dealing with a water sign or perhaps somebody that's younger. Somebody might have some romantic interest that they, they want to explore with you. Show me at the foundation of the situation, please and thank you. At the foundation, you have Virgo energy. So this Nine of Pentacles might be high Virgo. The ninth could be of significance. Or September. Somebody did a lot of soul searching here. Somebody might have went through a dark night of the soul. Somebody, you know, enlightened spiritually. Somebody spent some time in solitude doing a lot of inner reflection. Okay. Yeah. Somebody took all their experiences and their life lessons and learned actually from them. Okay, here we go. Now, you also have... Oh, look, there's the Three of Pentacles. So, whatever this Knight of Pentacles is, there's a level of collaboration here. Somebody's going to put in effort. If this, you know, you might have the same end game. It's about apprenticeship. It's about teamwork. It's about working together. Show me. It's going to make you happy. Look, what? Did I tell you it's going to make you happy? Look how happy you're going to get. Okay? You got a Ten of Pentacles. A Ten of Pentacles. So, there's some kind of big financial... Um, glow up here. I don't know if you're getting an inheritance. I really don't feel that way. I feel like perhaps this is something that you'll be working on and it's going to be very successful. I told you it's going to make you happy and be successful. All right. So the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, I don't know what to tell you about that. This is the Disney fairy tale because it's having enough money for retirement and keeping the bills paid and even leaving some for the kids. But also, you know, having the kids and the, and the, um, Traditions and all these things. All right, so let's see. This is going to grow into a very abundant, prosperous, long-term situation for you. Okay, here you go. You have the two cups. Look at this. You and somebody else feel the same way about each other. That's why you're cooperating. You probably have the same end game, and it's going to turn into everything over here. You're looking at this like, yeah. Show me. There's some kind of union that's, that's, I don't know, it's bringing you the complete and ultimate fulfillment. Whatever this union is. Yeah. Show me. Now, you also have the magician in your environment. Gemini energy. So, this is obviously something that you could be dealing with somebody that's Gemini in chart. Maybe you do. But something that you're manifesting. Something that you're actually getting your hands dirty and putting the work in to make this kind of pentacles. Okay? So, this is like, you know, the Page of Cups would be the beginning. This is like building on the foundation with the Knight. And now, you know, you have somebody that's going to work with you here. It's going to turn into this Ten of Pentacles. You people feel the same way. It's a new relationship, new love. You're very happy here. And the Magician... You know, this is about being very focused and creative and turning your visions into reality by taking inspired action. Yeah. Beautiful energy. The first could be of significance. Somebody give 32 or 33 here. I'm getting 333. 333 three, three, three megahertz, 333 three, three hertz. Pure energy of the Ascended Masters. While we're on the subject, we're working on our root chakras around here today. So the healing sound bath is set at 257 megahertz, 257. The mantra is I am. 
okay? The element is earth. Like I said, it's the root chakra. It's about grounding, instincts, your survival, your self-security, self-preservation, and the color is red. So any red crystals, all right? So this would be like a ruby, some kind of bloodstone, perhaps uh, garnet, carnelian, something like this. So you're busy manifesting this. I think that you're both manifesting this together, or you will be. You're in a very solid energy here, being committed and very reliable and hardworking and goal-oriented. Looks like you have people around you that want to collaborate and work with you. You look like you have a new relationship coming in here. This is everything. This is everything. So what's the best advice? Please and thank you. <clears throat> best advice. Three ones. Clearly, take the lead and stay convicted on the path that you're on with the three of wands here, okay? This is about confidence. This is about having that foresight and gaining momentum and growing, all right? Knowing where you want to go and then going there. So stay focused. What is the uh, most likely outcome? Most likely outcome is, look at this, the lovers. Gemini energy, yeah, dealing with high Gemini. Movie. This is a new bond. This is a soulmate. The lovers is about making a decision. This decision is about some kind of partnership that, you know, it's kindred spirits. This is a beautiful thing. Some of you might be up in your head trying to decide whether you want to, you know, like with this Ace of Cups. Some of you are, are, are fearful of it. Maybe you're fearful of love. I don't know what's going on here. But you completed some kind of cycle. And you're going to have some kind of victory. A big victory. Some of you might be seen in the public eye here. Some of you might actually be, um, some of you might be very intuitive. You might know this. You might do some kind of spiritual work. But you could be doing something very creative that's seen worldwide here. All right, Aquarius? You're going to have a victory. It's Aries energy. Just temper your emotions. Yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so look. Let me give you the signs. You have Gemini, highly. You have Taurus, highly. You have Aries, Pisces, and Virgo. So let's get you this. Sagittarius. The 14th could be of significance or the 5th. Somebody could be 56 here. Show me. Now, there's a house, a home, some kind of property, some kind of real estate. Somebody lives in a specific community. Somebody's never home because they're out busy working all the time. There's a new pathway opening up here. See what I'm telling you? 35 or 8, 53, August, Leo energy again. Somebody could be moving. Here you go. There's a privileged lady. 12 or 3, perhaps March. This is what? Because this is what you're going to become with this Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Some of you might be getting a new house. One more, please, Kipper, for Aquarius. The court. Some of you might have to go to court for something. It might be to, to sign papers for a new house, some kind of documentation. And this could be happening in May. I got 32 and 5 again. Be careful. There could be a thief around you. Maybe you're going to have to go to court. Somebody could be in bad health. But you're going to get some kind of sudden wealth. I mean, it's going to be a gift. So you know where that's going, right? Some of you could be just getting married. It could involve a marriage. I don't know if you're getting married or you're already married. Here we go. Show me. There's moon phases and other um, astrological placements that may be important. Here we go. You have Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. You have a new moon that you might be um, weary of. And you also have the full moon in Virgo. So the new moon and the full moon, you are good enough. Aquarius, Aquarius, by the way, thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you, we acknowledge you, we are grateful for your presence, and we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. It's the cardinal moon, uh, the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. Here's your letters, Aquarius. Here we go. All right. You have... There's some kind of gain. Look, right here. There's a big financial gain here. This is huge, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. You got two I's. You have two G's. VD. I'm getting David. David. GG. Tennessee. Okay, you ready? Two I's and an A. GGTNVD. Thank you so much, Aquarius. We love you. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity, like I said. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity, act with kindness and love, let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.